and we're talking about him, but I tell you this, this is the man that loves God, and he hears the voice of God. He's faithful to God, and I honor him tonight for what he has been to our family. Amen, because the life he lives right here is the same life he lives at home. Amen. Exactly. You take care Amen. of his family. Your first ministry is to family. Amen. Amen. So I honor him tonight. So we can, we're getting prepared for the word of God. And um, just this song that, that I like to sing a lot. You won't leave me like you came. In Jesus' name. You might have been bound or pressed tormented. Sick
shake the weak off of us. We shake the weak off of us. We shake the negativity off of us. We shake the negative conversation off. In the name of Jesus, we put on the righteousness of God. We put on the righteousness of God. We put on the garment of praise. We put on the garment of praise. I give out a thousand praises. That's the lift of your voice and give my great praise. Completely to the assignment of your word. 
we decree and declare miracles, signs, and wonders for your glory in Jesus' name. And the people that said, I agree. I agree. Let me one more time for Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I would that you get your Bibles and remain standing out of respect for the word of God. Bless his name. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just, uh, uh, just, just indulge me for a moment? I know I just asked you to get your Bible, but just lift your hands to the sanctuary just for a moment. God's doing something right now. Come on, just worship for a few moments. Hallelujah. Just worship God. Come on, speak well of Him in this room. Speak well of Him in this atmosphere. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost have your way, Holy Ghost have your way, we worship the Holy Ghost, we worship the Holy Spirit, we worship the Holy Spirit, we worship the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. <coughs> Nevertheless, watch this, at thy word, I will let down the man. <laughs> at thy word, I will let down the man. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets. John 1 and 12. And the word was made. You can be seen. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to sit on my it's in the word. It's in the word. In the word. It's in the word. In the word John made. One. Thy word. <laughs> debating on whether to preach first or teach first, give you what God gave you prophetically first. I think I'll do the prophetic utterance first. Uh, the other morning when I was up praying for you and this moment in the Harvest Church, um, where the Lord 
Lord came to me and said, tell, this is what he said, now. please forgive me if I don't need him. Uh, he said, tell Sean, I said, launch into the <laughs> Come on. He said, tell him the drought is over. Mm. Mm. It is finished. Mm. Right. Lord, I'm okay. He says, I am now raising you up. Get ready to become one of the greatest Pentecostal churches in the area. Then he said, expand your horizon. Expand your reach. Watch this. He says, I am doing a new thing now. It's going to spring forth. I've told you this before, and now it is coming. He says, um, I don't know what this means, this is still an enigma. I am giving you Rachel. I'm giving you Rachel. You have worked for Rachel. Now I'm giving her to you. So watch this. When I was meditating on that piece, Jacob worked for Rachel but got Leah. Yes. And the thought that came to mind when the Lord was dealing with me about this was that you went to a season where you got something you didn't in place of the thing that you did. You hear what I'm saying? And the Lord says that you have labored your week. So now I'm giving you what you were laboring for, what you were tricked out of. Does that make any sense to you? All right. And since I've been standing here, or while the service has been going on, um, the Lord told me to tell you once and again, tell him, um, I want to make sure I get it right, I want to expand your reach. He says, I want to expand your reach. Then he says, I want to extend my hand to help you. 2019 for you and beyond will be, how can I say this? God's helped you before, don't get me wrong. Yes, you but are. you're going to have supernatural push. All right. You're yes, going to have supernatural help. Yes, what I mean by that, watch this, you're going to have people who are going to come into this ministry who have an assignment for seasons. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An assignment for seasons to help the ministry build and get to certain levels. It cannot be what you have now. Great people, don't get me wrong. Great people. They're your core people. They're not going to help you. However, you need supernatural help. 